Welcome back. Did you know almost half of Americans consider themselves financially savvy, but don't actually reflect that claim? So today we have Jadira Hoftree and Jamie Stone from Fifth Third Bank to talk about Financial Literacy Month right now and their e-bus. And it's so true. You know, you think of all these people saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got my finances in order, and they don't. So tell me, tell me a little bit about this survey that we're talking about this morning, the Financial Literacy Survey. Well, in recognition of Financial Literacy Month, which is April, mm -hmm. Fifth Third commissioned a survey. Uh, we wanted to discover about the behaviors in terms of budgeting, savings, retirement plans, and credit management from Americans. We wanted to learn from the community itself. And what did you find? Well, surprisingly, we actually found that 80% of those who responded to our survey um, expressed their goal as being financially independent. And what was really interesting is that while they have that goal and there's a true need and desire to be financially independent, 47% of those are, are living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. They're not planning for their financial futures, and they really that really tells us that there's a need for education in the community. And when you find yourself in that hole, it can be almost daunting to try to climb yourself out of that hole. So what was the biggest surprise do you guys think that you had from, from this survey that you conducted? Exactly what uh, Jamie said, okay. you know, 80% of the population really wants to be financially independent. However, the means and the ways to get there are not known. And like you mentioned, people get overwhelmed with the situation. And we, the most surprising thing is that there is a lot of education needed from the youth to the adult. Uh, there is a lot of information that it needs to be provided in the community. Okay, so a lot of people think, all right, I don't have any money, so why am I gonna spend money to get better at money? But I, we, we have a solution here. You guys have something called the e-bus. Uh, and we were talking about it during the commercial break. Explain to me a little bit more about the purpose of this e-bus and the benefits to the community. Well, the e-bus is it's just a bus mm -hmm. that is a portable bus. So it's a classroom, if you will say so, that we take to the community. And exactly that, we uh, take it to the community instead of asking the neighborhoods to come to us. We teach about financial empowerment. It's an introduction to some workshops about budgeting, about savings, how to live within our means, what what support is in the community if we need, if we come up in a time that we need some extra help. So those are the initial portion of those workshops and then one-on-one -on -one counseling. Uh, ideally, the e -boss is the introduction to more in-debt workshops that Jamie, our financial wellness okay. specialty, offers. Okay, so you necessarily will do more in-depth things uh, at a location instead of necessarily the bus, per se? Exactly. Okay, so do, when is the bus coming here? Does it go all across the nation or is it just in Florida? Explain kind of a little bit about those dates. It goes through all our footprints. Okay. In South Florida, it's coming in April 16th through May 11th. Okay. We're going to be in different locations. For example, next Monday, we are at the Cape Coral Library. We're going to be there from 1 to 5, okay. partnering with the Cape Coral Development okay. Housing Development. Sure. Those are the accredited, non-for-profit, free services. They are from here. And what we want to do is introduce this organization to the neighborhood so they can get more in that information Great. as well as seminars. Great. Well, we are out of time, but you can, of course, check that out on Fifth Third's website uh, for more information on that bus. And uh, if you miss the bus, you can always see one of your offices go right in there and get some, some advice Absolutely. from you as well. Perfect. 